Hi guys, in the previous tutorial I showed you how to make a pie chart. Now I'm going to show you four different ways to format it so that it looks more professional like this one, like this one, like this other one, or like this one. So if you have any doubts you can leave a comment in the section below. Also you can download the sample file in the description and if you like the video don't forget to like and to subscribe at the end. So, let's get started! So the first thing we're gonna do with our chart is to select it and then I'm gonna go up to the chart design menu and on the chart styles section I'm gonna choose the style number 5. After I have done this I'm going to go to the left to the change colors palette and I'm gonna select the fourth style okay I'm gonna go then to the home menu and I'm gonna change the font to this Sego UI because I think this is a professional looking font it looks I like the way it looks and now I'm going to add the data labels to the chart so I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna right click on the add data labels option so I don't like the way the data labels are displayed on the middle of the chart so I'm going to select them by clicking them and then I'm going to right click and I'm gonna click on format data labels and this is gonna open up the right pane and in here I want to make sure that I'm on the label options on the label position section and I want to make sure that I'm on the outside end okay and now as a final step for this first design is to change the legend position so I'm gonna select it and still on my right pane I'm going to look for the legend options and I'm gonna click on the right option and there we go we're done with our first design For our second design, the first thing that we're going to do is to select our chart and we're going to go up to the chart design menu and on the chart styles section, I'm going to click on this button to see more designs and this time I'm going to choose the style number 9 and right after that, I'm going to change the colors so I'm going to click on the change colors palette and this time I'm going to choose the style number 3 okay and now I'm going to go up to the home menu and I'm going to change the font of the whole chart to Arial because this is one of the most professional looking fonts I'm going to hit enter there we go and now as a final step I'm going to add a shadow to the pie chart so I'm going to click right on the chart and I'm going to right click on format data series and I'm going to go to the series options section to the effects section and I'm gonna click on the shadow option and I want to select this inside center shadow there we go so now we're done with our second design now for our third design the first thing that we're gonna do is to change the style of it so we're gonna click it to select it and we're gonna go up to the chart design menu and this time on the chart styles section I'm going to choose the style number 7 and I'm going to change the colors so I'm gonna go to the change colors palette and I'm gonna choose on the monochromatic scale the gold one after this I'm going to go up to the home menu and I'm gonna change the font of the whole chart to the Verdana font there we go now I want to display the data labels in the chart so I'm gonna click right on the chart and I'm gonna right click on add data labels and I want these data labels to display three things I want them to display the percentage the value and then the category name which in this case is the customer so I'm gonna select them by clicking them and I'm gonna right click I'm gonna choose the format data labels option and on the right pane I want to make sure that I'm on the label options section on the label options 
icon and I'm gonna click in here for the category name this is gonna bring up the customer name the value which is already there and the percentage which is also already there so now I want to move my labels to the outside end so on the label position section I'm gonna click on outside end now after I've done this I want to change the separator I don't want that comma to be on every single value of the label so I'm gonna click in here on new line so that each element of the label is displaying on a different line so as a final step for formatting my data labels I'm gonna click on the bold button there we go and now I'm gonna delete the legend because I already have the customer names on the labels so I'm gonna click in here and I'm gonna press the delete button there we go now I'm just gonna move the Bob Dylan one a little bit to the left because it's interfering with my title and now as a final step as you can see because of the colors that we assign it will be better for me to display the values in descending order because right now you can see that some of the pie sections are smaller you can see for example that Jimi Hendrix has a 26% share but Elvis Presley has a 37% so I would like Elvis Presley to have the darker color so that's pretty easy to do I'm just gonna go here to my customer and sales I'm gonna select from cell B2 down to cell C7 and I'm gonna go still on my home menu to the editing section and I'm gonna click on the sort and filter button and I'm gonna click on custom sort and on this pop-up window I'm gonna select on the column sort by sales and then I want to sort from largest to smallest and I'm gonna click OK so now as you can see Elvis Presley which has the larger share is now displaying first and it's the darker color on the scale so now we're done with our third design Now for our last design the first thing that we're gonna do is to select our chart and we're gonna go up to the chart design menu and this time I'm going to choose the style number 5 and then I'm going to change the colors of the chart so I'm gonna click on the change colors palette and I'm gonna click on the monochromatic style 1 there we go now the next thing that I want to do is to add data callouts so I'm gonna right click on the chart I'm gonna look for the add data labels option and this time I'm not gonna choose the add data labels but I'm gonna choose the second option the data callouts so after I click it I have these callouts on my chart now the next thing that I want to do is to select again my whole chart and I'm gonna go to the home menu and I'm gonna change the font of the chart I'm gonna change it to Century Gothic okay and now I want the chart to have a different look so I'm gonna select it again and I'm gonna right click on format data series and I'm gonna click on the fill and line on my right pane I'm gonna click on the border section and I'm gonna choose a solid line now I'm gonna change the border color to black so I'm gonna click in here to select black and I'm gonna change the width to 2.5 points okay and there we go so now as a final step let's say for example that I want Jimi Hendrix to be displayed as a separate section of the chart so I'm gonna click in here I'm gonna make sure that I have selected just the Jimi Hendrix section and I'm gonna go back to the right pane I'm gonna click on the series options and on the point explosion I'm gonna change it to 25% so every time I click it you can see that this pie section it's expanding so I'm gonna leave it at 25% so this is gonna help us when we want to focus on a certain section of the pie chart and now as a final step I'm gonna change the color of the chart so I'm gonna select the whole chart and I'm gonna go to the fill color so this time I'm going to select this gold accent layer 80% and there we go now as a final step uh, I forgot to remove the legend so I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna press the delete button 
And there we go, we're done with our fourth design. Alright guys, I hope that video was useful. If it was, please don't forget to leave a comment, to like and to subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything and you'll be motivating me to upload more tutorials for you. Also, don't forget that you can download the sample file in the description below. So, thanks again and see you next time!